everyone I'm so glad you can make it back to my channel I wanted to share today with you guys the time that I was almost famous yes you heard me right I was almost famous well not really but uh, I almost got a manager how's that mm -hmm. so let me just begin with my story there was a point in my life where my mom was turning into a stage mom. She wanted me with all good intentions. I bear no ill will towards my mom. Like, I appreciate to the moon and back everything she did for me to try to get my voice out there. Because, of course, as always, your family and your friends will always be your number one fans when they feel you have talent. And for me, it was with my singing. My mom just wanted me to become famous, to be known, to be heard. And I've been told also that I have the personality of like being an actress or a comedian or just, I'm downright a clown. Like I'm just goofy like that. So there was a time, a period in my life where my mom would take me to auditions and talent shows and I actually won first place at one of them in the singing category, which was pretty awesome. Along with all those auditions and talent shows, we found out about a company or a, I guess a school that kind of trains you or helps you with your acting. We went sounded interesting. My mom signed me up. You pay the fees to register and also it included a photo shoot with their photographer. I took the classes. They were only I think on Saturdays but it was like an all day thing and we practiced monologues, practiced with each other. They would give us scripts like how, how to act in front of the camera. Like we would pretend one person was the camera. I guess they were kind of like improv classes. There was one weekend that a manager was gonna come out and scout for new talent. So I did look up the management company and they seemed legit and I told my mom and she brought me to the audition. Again, I was at that time in my life where I was like, whatever, like I don't care. And I really didn't pick like a monologue that would suit me. Like I honestly, I just grabbed a book out of a shelf at a library and just opened a page, put my finger down, and that's what I read. I can't tell you to this day what the fuck I read. Sorry for the language, but I just, I couldn't tell you to this day what I picked what it was like I don't even think it was a monologue I have no idea what I picked but I just for some reason felt like I had to have like a New Yorker accent uh, so I had a you know talk like this I don't even know if that's New York that's probably Boston or I don't even freaking know I just started talking like that and um, I acted in front of the agent and you know he was all serious and then once I was done he's like can you do that in a Puerto Rican accent? And I'm like, a Puerto Rican accent? What's a Puerto Rican accent? Like, I was starting to panic, because I'm like, what the hell is a Puerto Rican accent? Do you just mean like a Latino accent? I just started throwing out there, like if I had a Latino accent, just by like copying my uncles and my other family members or people I've heard. So I kind of try to mimic that. I didn't think I did well, but he liked it and he gave us his card and told us to make an appointment to go see him. Before the audition with the manager that came over, we had gone to get my pictures taken and it was quite the experience because I thought it was going to be like a photo studio, but it was actually this lady's house. Her studio was in her garage, which again was quite an experience like I never experienced that stuff before and I'm kind of glad I did it was pretty exciting but I still feel kind of stupid because I don't know how to pose like I I've always been an insecure individual always have been always will be still am to this day I was just awkwardly posing and just 
doing stuff. She would direct me, but I don't think she directed me enough. Whatever. But uh, it was done and I had all my headshots taken too. Don't get scared. This is me when I was 16, 17, I think. So, yeah. That was me. It was crazy. Oh my god, how the years go by. I look so young. I'm so old. <laughs> But yeah, that was me. That was me. And I was getting pretty excited because I was like, oh my god, this is so legit. I got headshots, professional photos taken, and then now the manager wants me to go meet with him at his agency. It was just really crazy and surreal. And I end up showing up and it's legit because they have people behind the counter, like at their desks taking phone calls. They had headshots of different people on both sides of the walls and there were some people waiting to be seen and then when I got called in, I was expecting the same dude and no, they decide to scare the shit out of me by putting in this gorgeous freaking Finnish looking model-esque looking Adonis of a man he had. He was tall, white guy, he had blonde hair, very nicely styled for the time, and his eyes were like crystal blue, like the color of a pool. He was so beautiful. I, I And when I walked in, like I'm pretty sure my eyes went like, oh, oh my God, and, you know, being a teenager, insecure, crushing on everybody. This is put in front of me? This is what I'm supposed to act in front of? I was panicking inside and I I was like, all right. I took a deep breath and he, I introduced myself and he's like, okay, so go ahead. And I went ahead and did the same monologue and I didn't mess up. I thought I was gonna forget my lines, but I looked him in the eyes and I just went ahead and I just did my stuff. Very proud of myself because I didn't mess up. <laughs> so then, once I was finished, he explained to my mom, you know, that they liked me and that all I would need to do now is go and take some photos and have headshots made. And when he said that, we like cut him off. We're like, well, wait, we already have like a lot of headshots that we took with the school. And can we use those? And he said, no, because we have to go through the, their photographer and their system. And it'll have like all my stats on there and this and that. And I'm thinking, well, can't we just like, I don't know, go to a copier store and just add the stuff? Like I was hoping we could reuse these because guys, I had a stack like that tall of these photos. I don't know where the rest of them are. Like I have that many right now, but this, this was a lot of them and they were telling us basically that we had to go pay for more. What were we going to do with these? Like my mom was a single parent at the time paying for a private school, a house and her two kids, our food, like everything. And this took a lot of money. So we're like, can we do something about this? He said, no, you know, we have to go through this. So we just like let him speak. He gave us their card again and we went outside and I was discouraged, but in a way I didn't bring my hopes up walking in there. I think she felt worse than I did. And I just told her, you know what? If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Obviously it wasn't meant to be because they should have taken or accepted this. Like that's what I was telling myself. I really don't know how this works. I don't know how show business works. If you guys are professional actors and you have like headshots and a manager or an agent, like let me know what did I do wrong? Like was I in the wrong for wanting them to use this or I mean, is that just how the business works? I don't know. But the thing is, I just told my mom, you know what, don't worry about it. I mean, we did what we had to do. Um, I felt horrible because she spent so much money, but then she's like, you know what, you're right. 
whatever. And she told me on the drive home, she's like, oh my God, I thought you were gonna choke the minute you saw that guy because, honey, he was fine. He was so gorgeous. So yeah, guys, that's how I almost became famous. I mean, I was this close to getting myself an agent. I still stand with my saying and my belief that all things happen for a reason, you know. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Maybe that's just not my calling. Maybe I wasn't meant to be an actress or a, or a singer. And sometimes I think about it and I'm like, maybe I wasn't because I get so nervous when I have to sing in front of somebody. Even if I know them, I just start getting like this panic, panic, feeling I even though I performed in front of people at that point I like talk myself out of the fear and I'm like you know what fuck it you're here just do it but it's still a recurring feeling that I wish I could get over and I wish I could have gotten over but and just never did and to this day the only way I actually feel comfortable singing is doing this doing it through the camera through YouTube that's why I was able to make a few videos and uh, it's not that easy guys and I hope you guys understand that when somebody even if you feel they're not talented enough it takes a lot of guts a lot of balls to put yourself out there and expose yourself anyway that is the end of that story I don't regret any of those experiences I can say to this day that I almost had an agent and I almost became an actress I could have become famous and I'm excited to share that with you guys hopefully you enjoyed the story and if you guys have a similar story to share with us please do I would love to hear about it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye